Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you a redesign. What are we this doing? This is a set that my client um, Paula, we put them on about two weeks okay. ago. <laughs> and um, she come in today and as you can see there's just one missing. All the rest are on and still looking nice and shiny. As when she left, with just a little growth area. So I've removed all that design, I've done all my uh, national prep work. Now, on this design a few weeks ago, I did it a little bit different. I um, dehydrated and primed as I went along. So I'm, I'm going to stick to the same method since they, they stepped on pretty well. So all I've done is I've um, removed all the previous design. Like I said, I've got rid of any lifting that was there, which there wasn't a lot. Um, I think she had a lot of lifting on the middle finger on the other hand. And this middle finger was missing. So I think she's a bit heavy handed on that middle finger, but um, it's still healthy nails, so it's not a problem. And there was just a little bit of lifting, I think, on the thumb on the other hand. So we removed the tip on that one and replaced the tip on that one too, because it was a little bit loose. But apart from that, they were still in really good condition. So I'm just doing the same routine, just putting on the dehydrator, wait till it goes chalky and then just a tiny dab of acid primer and then just filling in that back area with crystal glass. So this is just going to be a really simple set. She just wanted the same on all the fingers and what we decided on, well first of all she was going to go for a red and then as I was taking off the old design she says no I, I want to go for that um, cherry fizz instead. So um, we went for the cherry fizz. So I started off here using my Queenie brush, um, which is great. It's, it's good. I do use it on small nails, but um, because this is really fine glitter and I really needed to poke it into the cute area and nudge it around a lot, I switched down to a smaller brush. So here I'm using my Love by CJP brush. And I'm just tickling that into the cuticle area, tapping it down and just swiping it down. And I'm using it very thin, just making sure that the whole of the nail is covered. So there's not a lot to add to this. I'll uh, just let you watch this bit and then I'll come back a bit later.
So here I've just flipped my client's hand around. I'm out of shot showing you this, but what I'm doing is I'm looking at it from their viewpoint at um, the application and just filling any like light areas or any areas that I feel could do with touching up a little bit. Which on this hand was the little finger. And once I've um, done all that and I'm happy with the uh, coverage, I then go back to my Queenie brush and encapsulate using my Queenie so I can pick up bigger beads. And because they're really short nails, they're only just past the free edge, I don't need a big apex in these. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting it out of the cuticle and just swiping it down, just making it nice and even. And just keeping them really on the thinner side. Um, still making sure that they're structurally sound, that they're not going to snap or lift off or anything. But um, the last thing I want these to look is really bulky at the finished result so I'm keeping them just sort of a, a nice shape just putting on a couple of small beads of crystal glass and because it's glitter I am using the crystal glass a lot wetter and um, just putting it on at the cuticle and swiping it down So I foiled these and buffed them off camera, um, just using my normal method. And then I put some cuticle oil around the cuticles to help remove any of the dust. I then got to go and wash your hands in soap and water. Again, just checking everything from her point of view. So this is after they've all been foiled, buffed. I then use some wipe-off solution just to wipe off any last oil residues or dust residue that's on the nails, giving them a really good wipe over. And then using a dry cloth, just wiping over to make sure all the liquid has gone. And then I use my CJP top glass and give them all one thin coat. And then I get her to pop her hands in the lamps. And on this set I cured for, I think it was 90 seconds. And then once the fingers have cooled down, I used lavender Nastoff cuticle oil to put all that nourishment back into the cuticle and into the skin. That we Because uh, we've done a lot of filing on these nails today with the removal and everything, so I gave it a, a really good generous dose of oil. Rubbed them all in and then that is a set complete. So it has been a really simple set. I just really wanted to show you what they were like when they come back um, to show you um, how nice and shiny this top coat stays and with the new method that I used I just wanted to show that I got good results from it so I think I will stick to that method now as dehydrate and prime as I go um, so I've left a little video clip and a picture for you to see um, I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and I would also love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I have noticed I've got a few more subscribers since last time I looked. So I am very grateful. Um, and welcome to you all. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. So for now, bye bye.